What's your name? Rosa. Say, my name's Rosa. This is Jack. Hello. Jack, what's the name Hello. of the park? River Park Pool. Jack, what's your last name? Seeger. Jack Seeger, the best swimming instructor in town, guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there she goes. Oh. She's starting to move around better. She's still, she loves turning around. First time I thought it was an accident. Then I realized she's out in front of me. She's trying to go. Thank you very much. He'll be here for you next time, okay? Alright guys, this is Roberto Torralbas with Rosa Torralbas on top of my shoulders. Rosa, say hi. Hi. Hi, and we just finished swimming practice. We have been two years and eight months ago, I believe so, we put a video for first uh, practices. And I just wanted to make a quick note because I am a big believer at Team Third Law Academy of having a place where we create the best infrastructure for parents to bring their kids so they learn from self-defense skills to academics, so having a great, amazing time in summer camp. Um, it, and as much as I can provide on the one roof, unfortunately one of the things that we cannot provide on their one roof is swimming classes and I just wanted to share the great swimming instructor that Rosa has and also a couple of ideas. Rosa, since she's been doing swimming classes every single day for the last two, including today, she has saying, she has complained about trying to go to swim. Okay, she has said, no, I don't want to swim today and at the end of the day, she still goes in there, she has a, a, a lot of fun. In the first year, it was a complete uh, cry, uh, she would cry every single time, 
and now she's very proud of her abilities as a swimmer. And this brings me to an important topic that I wanted to share real quick. We, every single day, we send our kids to public education because the government forces us to, or otherwise you have child services knocking at your door. And we entrust our children's education with the government's public education. And that's, I don't see anything wrong with that, but at the end of the day, education's responsibility falls in the hands of us, the parents. And for that, me, I make it very simple in my household. And the idea that I have is that I make a column with two lines. On the left side, I have education. and the right side, I have fun. I am in charge of deciding what is that I feel is an education activity or the education that I want for my daughter and that I have forced to 110%, whether we whine, complain, uh, it doesn't matter. It's going to get done because at the end of the day, I'm responsible for her education. Now, she can pick her fun and she's responsible for uh, having fun and whatever, but whatever's on my list, uh, we get done. So she also goes, she has gymnastics classes, she also trains jiu-jitsu, she also works in her handwriting and the after-school program, the their last after-school program. She's been going to pre-K and those things are not, um, we cannot negotiate them. They're not, you know, uh, they're, they're not negotiable. And, but she can, she can pick her phone. And at the end of the day, I just wanted to say that, you know, I wanted to make sure that, um, that, that you guys understand that now because you see a happy little swimmer enjoying time with her dad because she put a little bit of sacrifice and somebody had to put her foot down about she doing this these classes whether she cried or or or, or not and uh, another important idea that I want to share is that I truly believe it takes a village to raise a child so what I have done around town is find people uh, like her nana a Spanish speaking lady who has taught her Spanish when she was since she's six months old uh, Ms. Shannon, the gymnastics teacher, Jack, as you met him, I'm going to put the phone number for him, a great swimming instructor, the coaches at Third Law, which is my family, you know, Coach Joe, Coach Joey, Coach Noah, and, you know, they treat her like a, like, like a niece, and, and all the kids, and, you know, it's, it takes a village to, to, to raise a, a child nowadays, and you want to find people that you can have them on your team to help you fight the video games, the, the bad influence, the bad manners, and so forth. So, hopefully, you check us out at teamterlaw.com, Team Terlaw Academy, and make us part of your village. And I look forward to teaching your child. And remember, pick, decide what is it that you want in education for your child. Remember, we are the ones responsible for choosing the education, not them. We have seen the world. We know what it's all about. They're barely discovering it. So we need to pick and make good choices for them until one day they can make good choices for themselves. Peace. Did you do it? Yeah. You did a great job. Yeah. 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 Ye